first of all, uh, <laughs> um, this is not part of your standard work, but part of your regular work. The, and once again, this, you have to agree on this as a team, but typically uh, we're talking about with the leadership team, 80% of your time should be spent on the things in your roles and responsibilities on the, on the accountability chart. And those things should be tied out to, to measurables that relate to whether you're succeeding or not. And there's, there's process that, that each of those things own. That's your regular work, that's your standard work. 20% of your time should be set aside for making the world a better place, really making the company a better place. And that's what, what rocks are all about, is advancing the cause. So it's not your everyday work. So if you're a salesperson, you know, going out and achieving your sales goals isn't a rock. But figuring out a way to create a new campaign to go out and, and, and help make those things happen in the future, that is a rock. When we see um, with development organizations, quite often they're on sprints, right? They're, or they're, they're in some form of agile and they're going, oh, we don't need rocks because we we've got agile. So no, agile is your work. Agile is the work of creating software. That's what you're doing every day. Being better at, at, at framing up your stories might be something you're doing or adding a new role to, to the organization or creating some other new structure that makes it easier. Going back and making, making uh, 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 issues lists faster, right, Christine? That could be a rock <laughs> as an example. So it's not part of your regular work. It is beyond your regular work. And as a leadership team, you've got, you might have one level of you know, rock set aside as you move down the organization, typically it's less and less to the point where at your, the, the people at the bottom of the accountability chart, chances are that they may not get rocks unless you're, you're grooming them to move up in the organization. That's not regular work. That first bullet point, I went off. Does that, does that sound right, Christine? Did I miss anything in that? It's, it's important stuff and it's a mind blower for a lot of people like, oh, shoot. Okay. Rocks yeah. are how you make things better. It's interesting too, because um, I like how you phrased it a, a couple quarters ago or something, but the outcome of the rock, it could be just like setting up a process. So like, if you don't have a process around one of the things that is your regular work, like yeah. setting up the process could be a rock. So they, yeah, 100%. It like connected somehow, if it's like process oriented or anything like that. Um, but right. I need to, I need to make this, this sales process more efficient. I need to have better documentation about this. I mean, those are all great rocks because you're actually making the thing better. It's not, but it's not about the thing actually, actually happening on a day-to-day -day basis. So, right. um, so let's talk about smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, timely. And I mean, there's, there's a million different resources out there for making this, but you've got to make rocks smart because the most important thing if you're going to get everyone to agree that this is the most important thing for you to, to focus on and at the company level this is the these are the company's most important things even but at the personal level this is really about the team that you're on they all agree this is a way this is how we want to allocate that 20 percent or less of your time that is is dedicated to rocks so it's got to be smart for us, us to even understand what you're trying to accomplish. And then at the end of the quarter, we'll look at each other and go, did we actually get there? Right. And so specific, almost always there's got to be a number or a state, change of state about it. And measurable, it's like, how are we going to ask the question, how are we going to know <laughs> when, it, when it's done? Well we, well, we don't when it's done. Yeah, we're going to know because we'll have this. Um, is it the right scope? And Christine, I, I know we've gotten really good at this at 90, is looking at looking at something and challenging one of, a, one of our other team members and saying, hey, that sounds like a two-phase rock. What's, what's the first phase of that? And, that? and there's two reasons for that. One, because I don't want to give you a rock that you're going to fail at. And two, because let's get to this place and determine whether it's still the most urgent, important thing. Right? Exactly. Because it happens all the time, you know, especially if you've got eight players, overachievers, they're going to want to go all the way. Oh, I got more what I want to do. It's like, well, that's another phase, you know. And yeah. when we review rocks from this quarter, you can say, hey, and I've got other things in my notes here about other phases I might get to. Capture all that stuff, but just really focus on getting this part done, like the, that notion of minimum viable product. Scope yeah. that within an inch of its life and be good at it and nail it, and then we can determine whether there's a rock behind it. 
I, I think that realistic is so important for that reason. Cause it's like, you might be able to go off and accomplish this. This happens all the time for us internally, but it's like, Hey, that's dependent on dev work or something that's outside of your control. They can't right. prioritize, somebody else can't prioritize it this quarter. So like splitting it up into like what you can really do phase one, phase two for different quarters. Um, and just really thinking about it being realistic from like a, all the team members that are going to be involved in accomplishing it perspective is definitely smart. Right, right. And because the focus is, is the most important thing. I mean, it's just, if you, if you get smaller rocks done with greater regularity is my, if I had to boil it down into one phrase, um, make, scope your rocks smarter, smaller, be really clear on them, document them well and get them done. And you'll, and you'll keep making progress. Right. If you shoot, if you shoot for the, you know, for the moon every time you're going to get halfway there. It, it, it's, it's not, it's not the same kind of accomplishment and you're not going to learn as much. Cause I ask all my clients, like when we review locks, what did you learn from this rock? Let's lock it in. Let's own it. So, and then timely, that's about being, you know, making sure you're, you're living in the urgent and important and asking yourself the question, what if we didn't get this done this quarter? Because you have to admit, you know, like if we just keep piling on rocks, Christine, we've seen this happen, you know, in many, many clients are just like, no, you don't get all those rocks. I just heard a story when one of the other implementers in town here, um, this company set up four, four company rocks. And he said, those are great rocks. Take one off. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 but the, but they, at, the, at the end of the session, uh, they were all like, that was a great call, man, because now we... Now we had to rationalize exactly what the three most important things were, and we all got to the got comfortable with, yeah, one of these things is just can't get done this quarter. Um, that's, that was a Ron Kaminsky uh, client that could, could, could call out core values call out to, to Ron Kaminsky being a great coach. Yeah, I think it's it's good to have those healthy debates and conversations, and I think all almost every single one of these really goes into why milestones are so important because it helps you actually define each one of those smart items. I mean, especially the timely because you're putting a literal date on something. Yeah. Um, but the milestones are really like those subtasks, the things that you're saying along the way, here's what I'm going to do to make sure I actually reach whatever that end goal is. And, and here's the thing, the, the exercise of creating milestones always, always, always informs your understanding of scope. I mean, as much as we can, I can say, yeah, we're agrarian minded, we can think about next quarter, you still suck at it until you're good at it. So accept the fact that you need to get better and better at it until you can be really reliable at what you need to get done this quarter. And something's going to come up and it's going to get in your way. And just the more you can put these milestones in here, one, the rest of the team can understand whether you're actually getting it done or not. Two, um, you, can, you can better understand the scope and you start putting dates against those things like going, oh, wait. This is a more reasonable scope to get to that thing. Um, and three, you're going to be able to say, open and honest, at an L10, hey, I'm off track. I'm off track. I got, I'm got i two milestones behind. I don't know how I'm going to get these done. And you know what? If it's a company rock, the right thing for ha everyone to happen is, how can we help? Not, why aren't you getting them done? That's not the, that's a healthy accountability, right, Christine? Healthy okay. accountability is, how do we get this done? We've said this is the most important thing for the company. Is it still the most important thing for us to get done? If so, how are we all going to rally to make this happen? Right? And we, we've had great examples of this. I, I start calling it ringing the bell. When someone, if, if on a company rocks, someone rings the bell and says, it's not going to get done. We all go down to the town square. We figure out how to protect the rock. Because if, we, if we're agreed this is still the most important thing, you know, let's do everything we can. Everything we can. Because that's yeah. smart accountability. That is that is healthy accountability. And I think in general, everyone's optimistic. So if you end up creating a rock <laughs> that is not smart and there's no milestones, I think everyone's just going to be like, I'm on track. Don't worry about it. And then you're going to be either at your quarterly or two weeks before like, ooh, I don't think I'm going to get any of this done. So you don't need to learn this again. I mean, it, 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 if you don't have these, if you don't, if you don't take the time to make the rock smart, if you don't set up milestones for yourself, you will get, you will inevitably have people to get to the end of the quarter, two weeks out, one week out and going, oh, I don't think it's really done. I'm off track. 
And that's, and that's, and that is a failure of everybody on the team. If you allow that to happen, that is not just the one person, all of you let that happen. And I, and I berated my teams. They can tell you, show them or on the call. We'll tell you, Jim Havlin will throw the chair when that happens. If it's, if it's a, if it's a company rock and all of you let this go off track two weeks to go, you all failed each other on that. That's not how we love each other in this organization. We do it by helping each other stay on track. 